Welcome back, part two. Yeah, we're gonna get started on our bunny. A different uh, camera angle, perhaps. We are not professionals. Yep, we are not. But um, I thought this might be fun for everyone to do. So we're just gonna fill in the bunny with our white paint. This is a pretty easy task since our background is already white. But you still want to get over those pencil marks a little. Yep, you still want to get over the pencil marks. And if you need to adjust your head a little bit, the bunny's head, you can. And I should also say that if you if your blue paint isn't all the way dry and you pull some in, we can go back later and cover up that blue paint that you pull in. Yeah, I pulled in some blue paint over here somewhere. But we're just gonna fill in the white money. Mama, did we do that? Do we do that tail? Yeah, you can paint the tail if you want. We're gonna paint our tail pink so it'll show up. Not just be a plain bunny. But you should still be able to see it through your white paint, the pencil. Because white is clear, sort of. <laughs> you can still see my pencil mark. And you've used a lot of paint. Maggie Lynn has used a lot of paint on hers. She's got a lot of clumps on it, so it's going to take a while, take a to, while dry. to dry. My tip for that is to get a hair dryer. I always have a hair dryer in my studio. I'm gonna try and take away some of that paint. Because the one thing I don't have is a lot of patience. Same. Mm -hmm. And staying in the house. Yeah, and staying in nothing. the house. My Elin's doing a good job. I'm just trying to scrape off some of the paint. I'm going to do this. I'm going to help her little bunny ear just for a second. My sister is not helping. Yes, our other siblings are a little bit loud. But it's okay. All right. I just wanted to help a little bit. All right, let's rinse off our brush and go to our next paint color. Next up is going to be orange. We're using pumpkin orange. You can use any color orange. My Yulan, we can share if you want. Okay. All right, we're gonna fill in this carrot. I hope y'all like this enough to do another one because I promised Brantley that we would do one.
for her to be my helper in. So, Maggie Lynn, how old are you? I am nine years old, and my sister right here. Maggie Lynn, what grade are you in? Third. Third grade. All right, so we want to go right here. We want to go around our Easter eggs so we don't have to have a hard time covering the orange up. The thing about the orange is that we have, we're going to have to put a couple of coats on. fixing my carrot because it looks a little weird for a second. Another tip right here. You see how I've got these right here that are darker. That's because I've gone over this orange with to this blue. So what I can do is I can get a little bit of this white paint and mix some of my white paint and a little bit of my orange paint. And then come back and go over those spots. And it may not have lightened it up perfect this time, but the next time. The next time you go back over it with orange, it'll hide those marks a little bit. You can also do just straight white, which is what I just did. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to let this dry and then go back over my carrots with probably another coat, maybe two, depending on how good of a coverage I've gotten. And we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> 